Once upon a time, from a presentation perspective, used to mean a good old agenda, lots of corporate images, uh, a lot of disconnected information that the presenter thought was useful for the audience, but invariably wasn't that useful at all. It was more beneficial to the presenter and the company that he was representing. Now, if we fast forward to a more enlightened audience, the once upon a time concept uh, is resonating far, far more than it ever used to. There's really no point in me producing some great design if there isn't a strong story to hang it on. Um, without the story, the, the design in a way is, is meaningless. A strong, engaging narrative is essential. The design helps to bring that to life in the eyes of the viewer. But you really need that base there for, for the whole thing to work. So just like a good movie, you need to have structure. And that structure has to have a start, a middle and an end. You need to actually understand where you're going to take the journey where you want to lead your audience, but at the same time you need to make sure that you lay down all of the key elements and the clues along the way so that your audience remains compelled and continues along that journey and doesn't get lost along the way. Well, basically I think if you're doing a presentation to start with, you are trying to communicate a product or a service or an idea. I think the best presentations have a very clear, well-rounded story. You know, your presentation is representing a story. So if it's not very strong, you're not going to have a very strong presentation. Nowadays, it is a real test to get people's attention and to keep their attention in terms of presentations. But one trick is certainly to use the beauty of a story. Because the best presentations typically start with one of these. A blank piece of paper and plenty of these. It's a real generation tool. And then what we try to do with clients is we try to steer that storytelling concept into a template such as any of these, in fact, depending on the purpose of the presentation. These will give structure, sequence and flow, which will contribute to not just impressive, engaging and memorable presentations, but overall effective communication. I think people will never have time for a presentation, but they will find the time for a good story. But somehow we've never given storytelling a real place into presentations. 30 million boring PowerPoint presentations per day later, we know we are wrong and it needs a big and important place in our presentation platform. Because we simply can't engage with other human beings through cold statistics, through pie charts and through bullet points. And that is why storytelling is so important today.